your decision to retire from the, from the sport of rugby league? Talk us through your, your, your thought process that enabled you to come to that decision. Yeah, it uh, revolved around my body really. You know, I'm still fresh, I'm fresh in the mind and I, I still feel like I could play for 20 years. But I've had a, a tough couple of years injuries wise and you know, I've got an injury at the moment that's you know, causing a lot of problems and you know, the amount of things I've had to administer into my body just to get through. The day-to-day -day routine of being a sportsman it isn't really a healthy way to live. So, to you know, to increase my longevity as a father, a husband, then you know, I needed to make this decision. You've you know played hundreds of Super League games and only two remaining. How does that make you feel? Only two two professional games of rugby league left left to go. It is. It's all I've known since eight years old. So for something you're so passionate about and care about so much, and that you know, any sportsman you'll ask, any rugby player I know, you'd be playing down at your local amateur club if, you know, as a joiner, a plumber, a bricky, a counter, so listen, anything, and you'd be playing on a weekly basis. The fact we get paid to do something we love and we're passionate about, it's such an amazing experience, and for that to come to an end is, is, is sad, really. I've had some amazing experience, but good, bad, ugly, and, you know, some of them that I can't really repeat live on air, because I'll probably get get super liable by some of our teammates but you know that's a fantastic experience the standout two moments for me are you know my debut 2001 um, Castleford in the Challenge Cup you know everybody remembers the debut and it was a fantastic experience and the 2004 grand final um, was it was fantastic the experience we've had at the Bulls is has been an interesting one over the last few years it's been full of turmoil it's been a massive learning experience for me as a person uh, for me as a leader and as a captain, uh, but you know, to captain such a fantastic club with some great history is, is one, one of the proudest moments of my career. Have you been thinking about it for a while, Matt, or is, it, is that process just starting now? You're just starting to look back on some of the, some of the things you've achieved, or, or is that even still to come? Um, I haven't quite looked back yes, yet. I haven't quite you know, had a review of, of my career. It's all, this is a unique experience to me at the moment. There's a, you know, there's a little bit of sadness uh, because I'm, I'm leaving a sport I'm so passionate about, the amount of people I've met over the years, fans, coaches, most importantly me, the, the friends I've made and the players, you know, through, through the players that have just took, took to the field with me is, is something that I'll, I'll cherish for a lifetime.